Hello, and welcome to Alternative Means to Travel. I'm your host, Troy Whitaker, and today's episode comes from the University of Louisville's Belknap campus and centers on urban bicycling. And we were fortunate enough to catch an interview with Daniel Thompson, a local biking enthusiast. Well, you know, I guess I've been uh, cycling uh, more than recreationally for the past three or four years, but have, uh, you know, been riding bicycles since I've been uh, younger, probably five or six. Trend in bicycling has really picked up um, just because it's an easy and affordable way to get around and a lot of people uh, like you know the physical exercise that comes with riding your bicycle this is a great cardiovascular uh, exercise and you know you build a lot of uh, muscle and endurance if you ride for long periods of time if uh, you're riding just from short distances place to place um, obviously you're not getting as much of a workout but still better than just sitting in your car and stepping on the gas. Besides health benefits, there are other reasons for biking as well. Sure, it costs a little bit of money to maintain your bike and uh, keep it in good working condition, but when you compare that to the price of gas and oil and air filters, air filters for your car, it's pretty much, uh, you know, evens out and everything. Even though there are a lot of perks to riding the bike, there are also a few things that you need to consider. Safety is key, especially when uh, riding something such as a bicycle, you know, you're obviously not protected like you are if you'd be riding in a car. Um, you know, you always want to wear your helmet, obviously, that's the easiest thing you can do. Make sure that your shoes are tied tight and your shoestrings don't have any chance of getting caught in the gears as you're pedaling. Um, you want to make sure your tires are at uh, the correct pressure and have enough air in them because you know in an urban environment you can hit a lot of bumps, there might be broken glass, things like that. You want to be able to um, have a, a sturdy bike that would be tough enough to run over stuff like that. As far as your awareness goes, that's probably the, the key point in safety as far as riding your bicycle. You always have to be aware of your surroundings. Um, make sure um, what traffic in front of you is doing and more importantly what traffic is doing behind you. Obviously want to make sure you're uh, using proper uh, turn signals uh, while you're on your bicycle so other automobiles and uh, other um, patrons of the road know exactly what you're doing. Uh, that way you can maintain your safety a little bit more. And uh, if bike lanes are accessible, you probably want to ride in those, but uh, always on the right side of the street. It lets traffic move smoothly and not necessarily yield to the cyclist because they have their own area in which they have a little bit of room to move around as opposed to riding uh, you know, directly next to a parked car or on a sidewalk, which is um, technically illegal. Before getting out on the open road, there's a few things each cyclist should pick up. Uh, lock is obviously key to make sure your bike doesn't get stolen and keep it safe. Bike pump so you can maintain uh, air pressure in your tires. Uh, Multi-tools are a good thing to have out when you're riding just in case anything were to go wrong. Uh, helmet is definitely going to keep you safe. Lights and proper reflectors are needed so other people can see you on the road. And, uh, Chain lube is something that's also needed to keep your bike running smoothly. But if you're going out, you also need water to keep yourself hydrated. Water is something that can keep you safe as well. You know, staying hydrated is key when uh, doing physical exercise of any sort, but cycling especially because you're in constant motion, usually out in the sun, and uh, water will uh, keep you alert, aware, and hydration is key. It, it really does make sense to ride a bicycle and, uh, you know, help make things uh, better for all of us. It's more health conscious, environmentally conscious, and uh, overall will save you money. This is uh, Daniel Thompson, just reminding you to stay safe and uh, share the road with your fellow uh, commuters and cyclists and keep safe and keep on biking.